Airbus seems to have scored a big goal at this Paris air show, with large orders from wide body to narrow body aircraft. Not stopping there, the company is also eyeing the development of a stretched version of the A350, a 2000 version. However, is it still in time to bring it to market when Boeing already has the powerful 777X card in hand? More specifically, Boeing recently announced a new step forward for this aircraft line. So why did Boeing make this decision? How will it affect the 777X program? Let's find out in today's episode. Boeing issued an announcement Boeing has reaffirmed its commitment to the long-delayed 777X widebody with plans to enter service this decade. At the Paris Air Show, Boeing executives expressed optimism that the new timeline was feasible, after the company resolved key structural issues and received strong support from the US FAA in the certification process. First unveiled at the Dubai Air Show in 2013, the program consists of three versions, the Dash 9, Dash 8, and the Freighter. Despite more than a decade of development, the program is now ready for commercial operations, Boeing is working closely with the manufacturing and regulatory processes to meet the revised timelines, Justin Hale, chief operating officer for the 777X, told the Seattle Times in Paris. So when it enters service, the Dash 9 will be the largest passenger aircraft ever built by Boeing. The freighter will add capacity in 2028, followed by the passenger Dash 8 which is expected to be on the market before the end of the decade. The 777X represents a significant step forward from previous generations, such as the 777-300ER, or 747 freighter, thanks to refined aerodynamic design, superior fuel efficiency, and significantly improved passenger and cargo carrying capacity. Boeing's 777X program has endured a challenging journey with years of delays, largely due to stricter certification requirements following the 737 MAX crashes, as well as inherent manufacturing issues. The FAA didn't officially approve flight testing until July 20, 2024, a full four years after the Dash 9 first flew. But expectations at Boeing have been rekindled by a positive shift in the regulator's approach under new leadership. One of the most prominent technical challenges in 2024 was the cracking of the thruster link, a titanium part that connects the engine to the fuselage. The cause was determined to be vibrations caused by restricted airflow near the cooling port area. To address the issue, Boeing engineers made significant improvements, replacing the joint with a thicker version, sealing the air gap, and adding insulation to improve stability. After implementing these measures, no further incidents were reported during subsequent test flights. CEO Kelly Ortberg emphasized the importance of streamlining the certification process and acknowledged the significant progress the program has made. However, he also noted that there is still much work to be done before the newest jet can fly passengers around the world. Although the 777X program has been a significant success, with 535 orders from 14 airlines worldwide, skepticism remains, especially from aircraft leasing companies. In a volatile aviation market, some remain cautious about the long-term future of the aircraft. John Pluger, CEO of Air Lease Corporation, one of the big names in the aircraft leasing industry, has publicly expressed concerns about the ability of the program to operate on the secondary market after the first lease period ends. He stressed that further delays will only erode the program's momentum. Air Lease has not yet committed to the 777X or other uncertified Boeing jets, such as the 737, MAX 7, and MAX 10, citing limited customer interest. However, Boeing remains committed to its long-term strategy, focusing on expanding its customer base, completing the remaining certification processes, and gradually rebuilding trust in the aviation industry. Amid the doubts and pressures, Boeing understands that it is not just about delivering the plane, it is also about the promise of flying higher, farther, and safer. One of the core pillars of the 777X's outstanding performance is the GE9X engine, a masterpiece of aviation engineering from General Electric. This is not just an upgrade, but a leap forward in jet engine technology. With an optimized design and advanced materials, the engine delivers superior specific fuel consumption, SFC, estimated to be about 10% better than its predecessor, the GE90 which is used on the 777-300ER, which has been very successful and highly appreciated 
for many years. However, the 777X's performance does not come only from the engine. Boeing has taken a big step forward by completely redesigning the wing structure. The new wing uses lightweight, durable, and foldable composite materials, a unique solution that both increases flight efficiency and ensures that the aircraft still fits into existing airport parking spaces. This design significantly reduces drag while improving the lift-to-drag ratio during cruise phases, a key factor in optimizing fuel consumption. The combination of the high-efficiency GE9X engine and the improved aerodynamic design has led Boeing to expect that the entire 777X family will deliver an overall fuel savings of 12% to 13% compared to the current 777 family, a significant improvement in the context of the airline industry under pressure to reduce operating costs and carbon emissions. In particular, the Dash 9 variant, the largest version of the family, is also notable for its extended fuselage allowing for more optimal seating arrangements. This not only increases carrying capacity, but also helps reduce fuel costs per passenger. The 777-9 is estimated to achieve up to 20% better fuel economy per passenger seat than the 777-300ER, a significant advantage for airlines seeking to improve economic efficiency without sacrificing passenger comfort. The Boeing 777X is an ambitious and powerful continuation of the glorious legacy of the 777 series, one of the most successful wide-body aircraft in the history of commercial aviation. More than just an improved version, the X program is a leap forward in design, technology, and passenger experience, taking this aircraft to new heights, meeting the expectations of airlines and passengers globally in the post-pandemic era. The first impression is the completely new wing design, made of advanced carbon fiber composite materials, light but extremely strong. This wing structure is not only revolutionary in terms of technology, but also in terms of image. The wingtips are capable of folding, a feature never seen on any commercial aircraft before. When folded, the wings allow the aircraft to be compatible with standard parking positions at the airport, saving costs and ground coordination time. But when fully deployed in flight, the wingspan reaches 71.75 meters, significantly longer than the 60 to 64.8 meter span of older 777, helping to optimize aerodynamic efficiency and reduce fuel consumption. Inside, the passenger experience is also redefined. The 777X cabin is wider than the 777-300ER, with an additional 4 inches of width, providing more comfortable space for each seat, especially important on long-haul intercontinental flights. Windows are up to 29% larger than the previous generation, allowing natural light to flood the cabin and providing more open views, reducing the feeling of claustrophobia on long flights. Carrying capacity is also significantly improved, while current 777 seat 314 to 396 passengers in a two-class configuration, the 777X, especially the Dash 9, can seat 384 to 426 passengers. Thanks to its streamlined cabin design, streamlined seating layout, and stretched aircraft structure, the 777X is an ideal choice for airlines looking to maximize seating capacity without sacrificing the passenger experience. Boeing also focused on passengers' physiological comfort by lowering the cabin altitude to just 6,000 feet, much lower than the current standard of 8,000 feet. This helps reduce fatigue, dry skin, and other symptoms commonly associated with high-altitude flights. At the same time, the passenger cabin soundproofing system has been significantly improved. Cabin noise is reduced by an average of 8 decibels compared to ICAO Stage 5 standards, much better than the 3 decibel reduction of the previous 777 series, providing a quieter and more relaxing flying environment. Not only stopping at passenger comfort, the new jet also focuses on practicality. The overhead bins are designed to be nearly twice as large as the previous standard design, making it easy for passengers to store their belongings without worrying about lack of space. This not only improves passenger satisfaction, but also makes the boarding process faster and more orderly. In addition to the passenger version, Boeing is also developing the freighter variant. A new generation freighter expected to succeed the 747F fleet that is gradually being phased out. 
The new freighter has a fuselage that is 7 meters longer than the current 777F version and can carry 7 additional standard cargo pallets. These upgrades not only expand cargo capacity, but also significantly improve operational efficiency for air carriers in the context of increasing global logistics needs.